We should have yeah, won. I don't it. think so too. Yeah, I because I, I don't think Sapphire Wild is taken. I know why they did it, but I don't think Sapphire Wild is taking over the format. And I think, I think because like if you play the mid range Dabin Wild, you're just doing such powerful things. I think you could actually just literally dedicate your sideboard to like or four slots in your sideboard or even three to righteous whack shots for that match. Um, yeah. So. I had a very nice game recently. Um, I'm not sure against who, who that was. I think Traxim maybe. Um, he was testing the the Sapphire Wild version. Yep. Um, and I crushed him game one, and then I brought in um, what's it called? Um, can't remember card names today. <laughs> <laughs> Originals repost, and I countered his first sugar rush. And used it myself. That was so disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> That's dirty, yep. I had five troops on the board as well and a chalk mod, so. <laughs> no, that was, that was... I'll share my screen here if you want to take a look. At real time. Oh, that is super dirty. And I th still think we are not done with brewing yet. There's still so many ways to explore. I agree. Um, so many good cards that haven't been played. And, um, yeah, I don't know. This, this set is um, just having such a huge impact in all all ways. Yeah. It's really, really... I agree. 100%. This set is nuts. It's... it's... I like it though. I like I like what they did with this set specifically, to the, like specifically in reference to our current meta. Nobody's waiting for them to fix book. <laughs> uh, we oh yeah, the same is likely true for Oinkus too, right? Um, the uh, that's the bug with the draw spells, right? That you don't draw if you. I draw spells off of those. Yeah, I honestly, personally, don't think Oinkers is that good. I think it's, I think it's just too slow. When you can be like reanimating Seekers, which flat out win the game, or cause a flat out win the game, or like just having Sabertooth in your deck, which is a removal spell. Yeah, sure, that might might be true. Mm, I'm not saying that it would be, I don't know, get one deck, but um, I could see it as a, I don't know, cheaper reanimator. Yeah. Hmm. So this is almost certainly getting countered. Do I just want to risk this getting dingled though? Or if this works and then she didn't play, our opponent's going to have a bad time. Let's find out. Ooh, that survived. Okay, we're going to draw three cards off it then. I am probably going to lose this one again because it's a mirror match and he went first. Now uh, rip line. How many PlayStation players are in the bash? Uh, I don't know. Simulating my car is kind of rude. Oh, he's on Jess guy. He's on. So he's 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 on car control too. Probably Ollie's list. Oh, I should have cycled this. Uh, this was actually no. I want to hold on to this because he's most certainly playing Rune Mines. Uh, yep, he went first. I lost. God, that's annoying. So we're just gonna voice here. I'm gonna save my saber. I'm not gonna get too aggressive here. I'm gonna save my saber tooth just because it's an answer to call. We'll just keep the value town going. We'll just stay. We'll just stay ahead in cards. Make him have to answer my own board threads. I've yet to draw a single winter's grasp in the four games I played in the bash. Damn, dude. <clears throat> I keep getting glory, and then I can't do anything with it because he's already ramped out of range. What is this? He just played a Well of Instinct. We're getting some sort of four color thingamajigger. So confuzzled. And before he drops an Oinkus for you. Right? Um, now do I just want to slam the Sabertooth and just get in damage? Can I end the game here if I slam Sabertooth? I cannot. Um... I probably just want to play the other voice here. So 
So yeah, I think we're just going to make this bigger. Nothing can go wrong, Novi. Right. I think that's the way to go. So he has zero interaction here? So I could have actually slammed Sabertooth and tried to kill him here. <clears throat> but I think this is a safer play, to be honest with you. And, like, I'm so far ahead right now, I don't think I care about what he's doing. Okay, we got Sunlitted. That's fine. That's really greedy in a three-shard deck. But that was a good catch-up card. Or four four color deck. We're four colors. So I, I think it was fair that I didn't play around that. I think that was a hundred percent fair not to play around that. Oh, do we actually know that he plays ruby? He just got the ruby from your car, right? Oh, that's true. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Right. So this could be just. Okay. You're right. You're right. That yeah. He got the ruby from my car, and now from. Okay, that's fair. So it could be, so he's primarily Bant then? Is he like Bant control, I guess? Looks like it, yeah. Is that what's going on here? Maybe he has some five color payoffs f with all the assimilates. Like I tried um, um, the, um, the other heart for the five shard decks. Um, maybe he's playing that. Oh, hey. yeah, could be. So now let's go ahead and slam this. Get in. What I could see as well is um, maybe he's a return player. He was now on the, on the uh, PlayStation and he tries to emulate uh, Wintermoon. Maybe? Yeah, I can see that. That's fair. Oh, we got eyes. Okay. So this is like an eyes control deck. Okay. Anyone? Does Darkheart make opponents sack really any? Uh, no, it, it won't. <clears throat> Thank you, Novi. <laughs> okay, good. At least we have an answer to uh, Arcane Banner, which is good. Um, I think I got eight. Oh, we could do a lot of things this turn. I really love the um, that the PlayStation players are improving that much recently. There are plenty of good players among them. Yeah. With good decks and um, all the good cards, and sometimes even with uh, the sleeves already and everything. Yeah. Yeah, they're getting significantly better. I'm gonna been a seeker here. Might have been right actually before I attack to try and excruciate and kill that. Just get in the damage, but. My goal was to cheat a seeker into play there. So I could answer banner. This might have been loose. Might have just been slam seeker there instead. Okay. So we found one of my voices. So we found a cop as we can just one shot him here. If he doesn't have the interaction for it. Which I doubt he does. It kind of seems like he's more uh, proactive than reactive. Besides the rune blinds. Never mind. <clears throat> Never mind. <clears throat> we are just on all the greedy stuff and things. <laughs> okay. So we can't put something with speed into play. Or anything worth. Oh, I guess we can loot first here. Let's see what we loot here. Really want a call. It's not a call. However, that is going to get our scribe back. 
Which means that we can cheat Seeker into play off this Ray. <clears throat> Which means we can just clean house, right? That literally means we can just clean house here, depending on what he's got. So, we're going to bend this Ray. <clears throat> we're going to Marjum's Gift. One of the Seekers back. I'm going to call four, right? Yep. We're going to slam, cheat the other Seeker into play. Call five. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're going to call five. We don't kill anything. Yeah. I'll, I'll just delete that. I'll delete that. Holy shit, we're playing in Nihilate too? Wow, this guy's just playing everything. Okay. Dark Horse Control Deck doing his thing, right? Right? This guy's just playing everything. Uh, we're just gonna go with a Sabertooth here and just try and kill him. He is just playing all the double shard cards here. Uh, we're gonna hang on to this well, well purpose. Remember when you attacked in the Sunless Sentence? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna say I'm pretty com I'm pretty pretty far ahead still. I'm pretty comfortable to say that. Uh, do I just want to draw off Excruciate, or do I want to let him draw two here? He played a shard already, so he can't he can't cast turn or he can't cast eyes. I think I do, but I don't. I want to make sure I don't kill my saber tooth here. No, oh, okay, well, we're gonna go first. We're gonna see what we get first. Because if I draw two shards, I can bin two shards. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna make it so we can't draw off silver talon. Okay. That's fine. See if we can find a way to hard cast this Doombringer Call. Uh, we just kill him anyways here. So we'll just throw this into the bin. Slam this. Hopefully he doesn't have removal for it. Oh, he's not dead actually. He's got he's alive by one. Oh no. Uh that's right. Saber did double damage on it because we reanimated it. Forgot about that. Oh, that. what a game, huh? Yeah, it was interesting. Um, kind of confused what my opponent's doing here, but uh, Seeker, Seeker actually is probably fine here. Saber is loose. Seeker answers Banner. I don't know. I could. I think oh, he's this, this is where I want Curator. Hundred percent. Mostly straight Diamond Sapphire control, and then uh, splashing wild for something. So, um, yeah. what is what are we splashing wild for? Oinkers? Well, some. Big finisher, I think, and there aren't that many. Maybe I don't want these curators game one because I don't know if he's 100% a combo deck. Like this literally strips some of his win con, and it's invincible, so it's pretty hard for him to deal with. I was gonna say his mana base is stupidly, stupidly, uh, um, greedy, and so like, is it? We haven't seen that many non-diamond, non-sapphire shards. Right, but running running double, of, well, I guess. There's a lot of card draw too. Yeah. Um, Do I want these brinks? Do I just want to brink them here? No, there's no point. I mean against, um, there's no point. like, uh, no, this is fine. We're gonna go Blood this. Ruby or Candles, it's kind of excessive to, to run that deck, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Especially I, with um, the simulators, his main removal. Well, I mean, we don't know what else he's playing, right? There could be Hawk Returns and stuff in this, too. Sure. Uh, if we hit our... No, this hand's fine. We got Dig, we've got... Yeah, this hand's fine. <clears throat> I don't know, it's an interesting 75. It's a very interesting 75. I I'm just really curious what we're splashing Wild for. 
Like, it's, it's gotta be Oinkers, right? Like, what else do you splash wild for in a control deck? But, like, does Oinkers even get I mean, you that far ahead? He has Ice too, right? So, Oinkers would be good with that. Yeah, maybe? What's going on, Hodor? Uh, round two's going a lot better. Uh, significantly better, actually. Um, kind of playing Except against for the a pun. really interesting I'm almost deck. certainly gonna lose this one again because I lost the roll to go first. Uh, sorry, Lime. Unless I draw, like, Britain to Justice this next turn, I'm just fucked. Alright. We can dig for a Ruby Shard here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get double Sapphire because we can just, uh, get blood off this next turn. Okay. Well, good thing I'm going to take a turn off of doing nothing. Our mana base is not looking good here. <laughs> um, You know, by the time I actually use this scribe, I'm just going to loot now. Man, we are not finding any... We're not finding Ruby at all. This is not good. Uh, we're just going to bend the Seeker. not good at all. That's fine though. So we're gonna grab blood off this and then we're gonna grab diamond off root of purpose and set up to uh, make sure we can hard cast call later on in the late game because this game's obviously gonna go long since we don't have an aggressive start whatsoever. Well, at least we can try and reanimate next turn. And we've got a rune mind holding that bay. Yeah, so we, we splashed four roots. Uh, Ollie, Ollie was kind of working on this deck a little bit too, and so we were goofing with it. And uh, something he came up with that made sense is to splash four roots, like make your four roots um, in this deck. Because our, like, our mana base is super consistent because of all our draw power. Uh, make it so that your roots can get diamonds, so you can hard cast Kaw. And that's actually won me a lot of games. Um, surprisingly. Roots are so good. They really are. I love them. I was really skeptical at first um, because of like... Obviously, now we have issues like this, um, but, like, it's won me a lot of games. A ridiculous amount of games, actually. Yeah, but but still, I mean, with the roots, you play four shards, and it's turn five, and you have three of them, so... Yeah. That's still pretty good. Um, and, of course, for, for budget decks, they are amazing, and also you can play them in, in two shard decks um, to fix if you need B. And if not, um, you can just play them. Yep. Was, that was something that um, made my Chalk Mart um, pretty much more consistent than I have the root now. I remember buying this, right? Yeah. Because I can call him next turn and just literally uh, pressure his life total here. There we go. I was literally just waiting for that. There's our ruby, finally. Um... Okay. <clears throat> so I want to set up here to really pressure his life total and just gain a lot of board presence. Actually, I can... I'm not... I'm gonna... So yeah, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do this... We're not going to we're not going to do twenty points of damage to the face because we can actually void this with Kaw. So we can stop him from taking that next turn. Um I'm gonna void this. And then like the follow up turn next turn, we uh, we can ray plus cheat another Kaw into play if we need to. Um, because he's, this is his priority answer here, so he's kinda got to annihilate this turn. Um, and then we just reanimate and kill him. Okay, he's Izing. And now he hits Seeker off of the dump the coins. Gross. Yeah, and the, I, I agree on uh, their anti rune bite is nuts. Especially especially when you're playing um, uh, rune bite in your deck. 
Like, I've, I've had a lot of lines where I've been able to rune bind a Seeker and then cycle my own root and double Seeker my opponent. And yeah, just, that's awesome. Oh, yeah, it's it's won me so many games. Like, I literally went, okay, Morgan's Gift, bring a Seeker back. Okay, rune bind the Seeker. Okay, uh, Morgan's Gift again. Or, sorry, yeah, rune bind the Seeker. Okay, cycle root. Trigger the Seeker. It's so good. When, when that first happened to me, I was like, what the fuck, are you kidding me? <laughs> But it was like to instant speed on my turn, right? Yeah. <laughs> was I, I tried to remove the seeker, I think, and then he, he room bound and uh, wiped my board. I think we just hard cast seeker here. Try and end the game with car, or do we just hard cast the second car? We just hard cast the second car, right? Yeah, we just hard cast the second car. Oh no! What? It's Kazi. unique. Oh! Oh my god! What am I doing? You, it, you filthy scrub! Oh my god! Ah! I had too much. Oh no! I had too much delay to save you. Sorry. Oh, I'm so bad! Oh, I'm so bad! I am so bad! Rest in peace! Rest in peace, Mustache Magic Hex Career 2018. GG guys, I quit. I'm done. Oh, I'm so bad. I just gave up my double damage car. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> yes. Rip. Oh, yes. Uh, do we just void this? Deal the five phase? Uh, no, we void his banner here. Oh, I could have just slammed Seeker, called four, killed him. What am I doing with my life? Seven, when you played the seeker, so could have been worse. Oh. Send a message. No, because now if I beat my opponent, now not only am I a bad player, but I'm also I'm also a dick. <laughs> like, I love how they just bounce this car. M must it be like? I don't care about your Sundered Sentence. I don't care <laughs> about my car. I win anyway. Uh, if he counters us, we're gonna die. But we, we'll just slam into the car and try and kill him. Oh yeah, this is getting countered. Oh, it's not. What does this die to? Oh, oh man, I'm so bad. I can't believe I did that. Guys, I think I think I need another coffee. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we still won, but man, yeah, there's no other card that that could that any of the unknown can turn Kaw into. Same with uh, like most of the tri shirt colors, actually. Uh, any of the unknown doesn't do anything against. Yeah, we have five five cards right now that are completely new. Yeah, I'm uh, one one juice. I lost to you, Guildmate Hodar, in game three, round one. That's fine though. We'll fight the jank train. We'll we'll fight the jank train up. <laughs> you were probably so excited to see that, Novi. I don't think I've punted that bad since like Kagu days. Like I'm pretty sure I haven't punted that bad since back when we played. Um, I think it was a third bash we played against each other, and you just walked the floor with me when you were on Death Cry Kagu back when uh, uh, Turbo PA first showed up. Because I misplayed like six times in a row. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was atrocious. That was literally just an atrocity what I just did. <laughs> oh, man. You're welcome, uh, Jebda. You're welcome. <laughs> That's the MM I know. <laughs> there he is. Watch. That game is getting casted. That game is 10 out of 10 getting casted. When I first got replay feature, the first thing I did was I went and flipped through to see if there's like an MM punt flag that like pops up. Because I've gone I've gone X2 in bashes for the first two rounds. 
and then I punted like I punted my second game so bad into oblivion. And I go into third round, and they still cast that second game, even though I'm playing like atrocious. I don't deserve to be on cast. They cast it, and they just like watch me just like throw away my life. It's just awful. <laughs> Thanks, Odar. Is Zach not too slow? I am playing it with Iconoclasm and half interrupts, and I think it could be faster. Uh, what are you talking about, Horizon? Is the deck not? Are you talking? Like, are you talking about Reanimator? Um, specifically, because it's not too slow against Agro. Ah, uh, we're one one, Marky. We are one one. What's going on? Uh, we got a. We got a bit of a group chat going, by the way, if uh, anyone wants to get involved in this. You're more than welcome to. Uh, no, it's not. Oh, hang on. Turbo's, uh, my kiddo is having a uh, dilemma here. I'll be right back, guys. So the reason we're running uh, Tri Shard for Grixis is specifically because it gives us against the aggro decks. Um, it gives uh, well, I mean you have to run a Grixis, right? You need Sapphire for consistency. Ruby gives us removal um, as well as access to early creatures like um, specifically Scribe and Ray, which also help with our game plan because Scribe cheats in by turn four and uh, making the deck significantly faster. And then Ray um, is also a blocker that loots and fills our graveyard. Um, and then, 